So this video is kind of a beginner's video, uh, but I'm amazed at how many people have been using Linux for a long time and don't realize this. Um, and that is that you have multiple clipboards uh, on Linux when you're using Xorg. And uh, I think there's three, but really there's two that most people use that I use, uh, although I've read somewhere that there's a third one. I have no clue how to access it. Um, uh, and many people don't realize uh, how to paste into the shell without right-clicking and clicking paste. So here's an example. Uh, if you go to filmsidechris.com forward slash scripts forward slash my notes, capital M, capital N, uh, you can also, if you're at my website, uh, which is filmsidechris.com, uh, you can go to, where is it, uh, software, and here you can click on notes and that will bring you there. And uh, I'm just using this as some as a basic example. So I'm going to come here to this these notes on running a web server using BusyBox, which is basically just this one line of code. Uh, so how do you copy and paste this? Uh, normally you would highlight it and you would, well, some people would go right click and say copy. Some people will go up to uh, edit copy, uh, but really we want to use the keyboard, which is control C, right? And then you go to the shell and most places you can paste it by clicking control V like you do, but in the shell that doesn't work. You hit control V and it doesn't, it, it, it makes, it does this. Uh, in most terminal emulators, you're going to want to hit Control Shift V, and that will paste whatever you copied that traditional way uh, from that clipboard. But as I said, you have a second clipboard. You actually just copied this twice, because in Xorg in Linux, by in Xorg, I'm not sure about other display managers, but in Xorg, uh, once you highlight something, it is copied into your secondary clipboard, and the way you would access this is very simply by center clicking. Center clicking would be uh, if you have a mouse wheel, clicking that mouse wheel. You ever notice your mouse wheel clicks? It will paste stuff, and not just in the shell, that's, that's anywhere, so I can come here and I can click. So it's very convenient to very quickly highlight something and click, but also it's convenient because you can highlight two different things. So for example, uh, I can highlight this and hit control C, and then I can highlight this and now I have two different co things copied. So I can come over my shell here. I can hit Control Shift V and paste that, or I can center click and it pasted the second thing. And then I can Control Shift V. So I can go back and forth pasting between the two things. Control C to clear out of that, Control L to clear the screen. So those are your two clipboards. Uh, and uh, if you don't have a center mouse wheel on uh, many systems, clicking both your right uh, button and your your right and left mouse button at the same time will center paste. I don't have it set up to do that. If I try to do that, it doesn't do that. Uh, but on many systems that's set up, uh, that's very helpful. Also, on uh, if you're on a laptop with a mouse pad, clicking both the buttons will normally uh, paste that highlighted clipboard. So again, I can highlight something, Control C to copy it, or once it's highlighted, it's already copied. Uh, which is very easy. It's it's, a, it's saving your steps. So if I wanted to copy something, I just go highlight, center click. It doesn't get simpler. You would think highlighting Control C, clicking somewhere Control V, it, it, that's super simple. We just cut that in half. That was four steps. This is two steps. Highlight to copy, click to paste. Super duper simple. Uh, and it's just amazing how many people don't realize that. And a lot of people, especially with the shell, they don't realize you can Control Shift V to paste stuff, uh, they usually will have to right click and click paste. Um, but you don't have to do either of those things. Again, once you highlight, just center click in your shell and there it is. But if you did control shift or control C to copy from another uh, application, control shift V will paste that. Of course, you have to make sure that you highlight the whole thing when you control shift V. Anyway, uh, those of you who know this might look at that and go, well, duh. Um, but beginners, uh, people coming from other operating systems may not realize this. Uh, and uh, again, I know a lot of people who've used Linux for a long time and didn't realize this. Uh, it's very useful. Um, and, and it's just one of those things that when I first switched Linux, I learned about this right away. And it was just like, wow, that is awesome. How much simpler can it get? You, you took something that was super duper simple and made it even simpler, but you have to know about it to use it. Um, and we're actually going to work with more copying, pasting stuff in the next video. So I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website again, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels just by typing in here. So we can type in bash um, and I don't know.
paste. Oh, I don't have any videos about pasting. Uh, Nmap, or how about just Nmap? That's right, the, the search on this page uh, actually isn't very smart. <laughs> uh, but and, it, and it's just something I wrote myself. If you go to software here and click on my notes, these are just simple little scripts I wrote. It actually is every uh, thing I have on Pastebin. Uh, every night my server syncs over and adds everything from my Pastebin account into a database that actually loads into this page. Uh, as I've said in the past, there's 628 scripts and they're actually all embedded in this page which is very inefficient so if you're writing this on a phone uh, it might take a second to filter through everything because it's literally filtering through the scripts and I've shown this in the past uh, if I actually click on this page and we look at uh, the um, the body of it the HTML and we come and look at this list each item actually has the uh, the full script in it uh, which is a horrible way for me to have done this. Instead of filtering it through on the server side, you're actually filtering through every script. And every time I add a new script, which I usually add a couple every day, it makes it slower and slower. So someday I'll have to filter it. But on my desktop, it works pretty fast. And on my phone, it just takes a couple of seconds to filter through everything. Um, but it's a smarter filter to where it actually looks at the first word and then filters the list on the next word and then filters it based on the word after that. Um, so it's a little bit smarter, but there you can look through all these. Um, yeah, just wanted to show you that. Thanks for watching, sharing, subscribing, commenting, thinking about supporting over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. That's right here. And uh, there you can uh, support me. And I appreciate your help. You can get ad-free downloads, early access to downloadable videos. And uh, as you can see, I'm recording this early. Uh, and once I go through all these videos and organize them. They'll get uploaded to my Patreon users and then you get them on YouTube over time. So if you want them in bulk right away, think about becoming a Patreon supporter. Thanks for watching and as always, I hope that you have a great day.